The central highlands of Vietnam. This region is home to 95% of all coffee production in Vietnam, making it the second largest coffee producer and exporter in the world. Pepper from these areas is also exported around the world. Over time, the Central Highlands began to be a victim of its own success. As production grew, pressure on natural resources also increased, leading to diminishing water supply, deforestation and land degradation. In 2013, the IDH, the Sustainable Trade Initiative, offered its support to deal with the challenges of sustainable agricultural production. Over the last five years, IDH already engaged a lot with the uh, agribusiness, uh, governments, local governments, national governments, provincial governments, civil societies, communities, all the stakeholders involved in the landscape sustainability and now coming to really co-investment to make the impact at the largest scale. At the start of the program, the partnership worked with a small number of farms on certification. Gradually, more and more coffee farmers met the standards of UT, FOSI or Rainforest Alliance. Thousands of farmers achieved sustainability certification for their farms and coffee products. The program became institutionalized when local public and private sector representatives founded the steering committee of the Initiative for Sustainable Landscapes, ISLA. Sustainability only achieved if all stakeholders work together. The partnership from the government is the most important. JD, we appreciate the role of ideas in coordinating. After three years, it became clear that coffee is not the only commodity affecting the communities and environment, but peppers too. The Central Highlands needed an integrated solution for irrigation, management of inputs and buffer zones. The solutions? A mini landscape. It started with 70 hectares in Etan commune of Duck Luck province. A cluster of 56 households worked together to rehabilitate community lakes has new irrigation techniques and set up agroforestry systems. Sử dụng hệ thống thủy lợi như này giúp chúng tôi là đưa nguồn nước đến gần vườn cà phê hơn, qua đó là giảm lượng nước đến mỗi gốc cà phê và giảm sử dụng nước ngầm. A public-private coalition signed a production protection inclusion compact in 2019, committing to sustainable development in the Central Highlands. The program was scaled up from commune to commune then from district to district, then from province to province, with field training, economical watering models, recommendations for appropriate and safe use of fertilizers and chemicals, soil analysis and agroforestry. Từ khi mà có cái chương trình mà hỗ trợ mà cái trồng sen á và cà phê cảnh quan á thì xã Tân Nghĩa thì rất là nhiều nhiều người tham gia, rất là nhiều hộ tham gia. Và cái lợi ích kinh tế thì nó cải thiện rõ rệt. Simexco supports coffee and pepper farmers to supply to large corporations around the globe. In 2019, three compacts were established in Knong Nang District, Duck Luck Province, Lạc Dương, and Zilin District, Lâm Đồng Province. The program is set to scale up. Trong tương lai giai đoạn 2025, Simexco sẽ cam kết cùng đồng hành với chính quyền địa phương và đặc biệt là tổ chức sáng kiến thương mại bền vững IDH và tập đoàn GE sẽ đồng hành để mở rộng toàn bộ 12 xã trên huyện Cờ Rông Năng để hợp tác, hợp tác phát triển một cái chương trình PIPA Compact rộng lớn, đặc biệt đó là một cái vùng sản xuất kén tạc cà phê à, rộng để giúp cho à, người nông dân họ thấy được cái sự hiệu quả của chương trình. Real change is visible today in the Central Highlands why 15% of farmers practiced intercropping in the program area in 2015. By 2020, this number had reached 96%. We are now moving to the new phase of a sustainable landscape development. So that new phase will mark the scaling and transformation, real transformation process for developing sustainable sourcing areas from the commune level to the district level and now to the sector level. 
So it is expected that by 2025, IDH will cover 140,000 hectares of agricultural lands and about 300,000 hectares of forest protected in this area. Coffee from the selected area has been produced with 20% less water, 14% of reduced chemical fertilizer use and zero use of banned pesticides. Farmers in the area earn 20% higher income compared with farmers outside the area covering more than 10,000 hectares of coffee and intercrop production. A study found that intercropping and reducing fertilizer has resulted in lower greenhouse gas emissions from coffee farms in the area. The coffee had 60% less carbon emissions in 2019-2020 compared to 2015-2016. Jacobs Dauer Egbert, JDE, has become the first company to use new supply chain sustainability solutions sourced up to make a coffee sourcing commitment. The partnership is working to become a verified sourcing area a verified sourcing area is a local partnership in a community producing area that makes its sustainability metric transparent through an international platform called SourceUp. The SourceUp is a very innovative approach that we will apply more in this uh, scaling and transformation phase and this will be mainstreamed in the national policy and also corporate policies to achieve impact at scale. By undergoing assessment by a source-up panel, the Central Highlands hope to gain international acclaim for its sustainable production system. By 2025, verified sourcing areas will become the foundation for sustainable agricultural production in the Central Highlands.